Okay, so eight, zero. Okay, so if it's zero, we just jump down. Oh, okay, I see. I think if it's zero, we need to just jump all the way out. Wait a second, we don't want to do that. So if it's zero, yeah, that's right. We want to jump. If it's zero, we jump all the way down here to the end, and we say, um, go to the out box with that value, right? Because it's going to be zero. Uh, and then jump back to the start. Is that right? Am I right about that, or am I right about that? I'm not sure, actually. Okay, let's see. We'll put it on, like, fast speed. Okay, that's fine. Okay, two times zero. Zero. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Oh. How? Oh, what? What? How does it fail on other part? Okay, yes, here, I'll give you some inputs that cause your solution to fail so you can see it for yourself. Okay, fine, I'm ready. Is he gonna put some negative numbers in there? No, he's not. Okay, so how is this gonna fail now exactly? Okay, here's the inputs that he thinks that I'm gonna fail on. Oh, I see. What was that input? <laughs> Shit. Was it the zero times? Okay, so we have to check for zero here too, right? So we have to say zero times. So if we go to the inbox and we copy to zero and then we copy to times and then if it's zero, okay, so actually here we need to check to see if it's a zero and if it's zero, we go down and we do much the same, All right? And then we jump back up, okay. All right, this might work. I'm, I'm like, I'm sort of like half falling. What the fuck? Where did that come from? What was going wrong there? Okay, seven and three. We knock it down, because we're testing for the zero. Yeah, 21. Yeah, fine. Okay, seven times nine. Fine. It's like a really like long convoluted way of doing it, but still, it's fine. This is gonna be like the ultimate. Okay, we'll speed it up a little bit so that we get through this one. Okay, now we're coming to the end of that. 63. Okay, so three times zero is zero, right? Zero times. Oh, I see. So we went to the zero. So it's the zero times four. Oh, wait, no, that's fine. That should be fine. It should just replace that other value, right? Or is it the zero times that's screwing it up? Fuck, I wish there was a different way of doing this. Okay, fine. Okay, so five times zero, so the zero times seven is what we want to test. Five times zero is fine. Okay, so zero, okay, so this is zero. And then we're saying, if it's zero, move. Oh, okay, and then the, see the seven coming in is what screws it up and it'll leave us with one and then it'll fuck up. All right, so if that is zero, we don't want to just jump down to the bottom here, actually. We want to go to here. If it's zero, we want to go to the inbox and, wait, do we? Oh, I see, okay, fine. If it's zero here, uh, we want to go back to the inbox and get rid of that other value. And then we want to jump back to the start. That's right, isn't it? Okay, this might work now. We just need to get that that other unused value because they come in pairs. Wait, we fucked up again. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, it's the times. It's the what? All the rippage. Is your dick in outer space? Man, they're gonna need like all sorts of Hubble to track that thing down, like. I, I mean, like, they're gonna need to invent a Hubble telescope that can magnify, like, probably a trillion gazillion times more than the current just to find your dick in space. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, hang on a sec. Where did I go wrong? Quit, please. All the... It's, it's alright. We, we got this. We're pretty close, actually. I think we're close. Okay, the seven, so nine and the, oh, sh oh, wait, 
Hang on a second. Why was that going in the negatives? It wasn't a zero. Was it a one? No, I think we catered for the ones as well. We have some debugging to do, but... Okay, this one should be fine. Okay, 27. Just have to watch this through like a million times. That's fine. Okay. One times two. Okay. Great. That's fine. Three times zero. Alright. Three times zero is, of course, zero. Zero times five. Wait a second. So if this is zero, we're jumping down here. And then we're going back to the inbox. Oh, we need to actually go to the outbox first, don't we? And then to the inbox. And then jump. And then get rid of that. Okay, because we have to put that zero on there, right? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's where we've gone wrong this whole time. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is painful. I was really close. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. I'm almost there, I think. Wait a second, what did we just do there? Two, two, okay. We still got pairs anyway, that's fine. Let's speed this one up, it's a big one. I'm gonna be so over with this one. Okay. One times zero. Okay, perfect. Zero. What? Outbox to zero. Why did it go here? Does anyone know? So if it's zero, what's here? That's fine. Copy to zero. And then if it's zero, we go back down here, we go to the outbox with it, and then we go back to the inbox. But it said I didn't have anything. No, that's... Hang on a second. I, I am drifting a little bit. Like, for the past 10 minutes or so, I've been thinking about Ferraris whilst doing this. Like, my mind does drift a little bit, I'm just saying. Okay, fine. I gotta love a Ferrari. Okay, let's see. 15. Okay, that's fine. Okay, 6 times 6 is gonna be a long one. Let's just speed it up to get through it. Okay, fine. Alright. So, 9 times 0 should just be 0. That's fine. Okay, we go to the out. Oh! That's where it screws up. It's trying to go to the outbox with nothing. How is it getting down there though? Oh, is this one too like... Oh, I see. So it went there, but then it goes here. So actually this needs to be like here, like that. And then we jump back up, right? Just add more spaghetti. <laughs> wow. Okay. I think we should be in good shape now. Okay, 15. Okay, look at him go. He's a machine. Okay. Zero. Is this right? Did we actually do it? No. Oh, but it fails on other possible inputs. Yes, here. I'll give you some inputs that cause your solution to fail, so you can see for yourself. Alright, fine. I'm ready. Give me some possible inputs that make my solution fail. I'm ready. Three times five. We know that we can do this one. No problem. Where are the, the failing inputs? Oh, is it... No, no, it's not zero, zero. Okay. Three times four is no problem. We can do that. Okay, three times zero. We know what we're doing here. Zero. So that's just zero. Yeah. Go back up. Yeah. And then zero times seven. 
So we go to the zero. Oh yeah, this is the yeah, we go to the seven. We get rid of it, because it's just zero. So we get rid of the seven, and we do eight times. Oh shit, we didn't check for the one, did we? So this is the one. This is zero. Oh, it's eight times one. Okay, so we have to cater for the ones as well. Uh how do we do that? If it's so we're catering for if it's zero, so we don't bump it if it's not zero. But if it's one and it just comes zero straight away, we have something in here for that already, don't we? So if it's zero, we just jump down here straight away. So we copy to times, do the bump. We have to check if zero here as well, don't we? So if this is zero, then we just want to take the value from zero. We want to copy it from zero, right? Okay, so we want to go down to like here. Hang on, do we? We're gonna go past this bit here. And then we just want to copy from zero and then output and then jump back up. Is that right? I think it's right. We want to copy from zero, output, and jump back up. This might be right, but at, at the same time, it could possibly not. Let's try it anyway. Pew, pew. Pew. What? Zero, but eight. What? How? I was going too fast, I think. Okay, four times four is five. One times nine is fine. Wow, this is taking a long time, isn't it? Okay, four times... Fuck me, I forgot to... St shit. <laughs> what was that? Okay, three times four is fine. Four times five is okay. Seven times zero might not be okay. So let's just slow it down. Okay. Seven. I think seven times zero will be okay, actually. I think this is fine. So we know it's gonna be zero. But he's taking seven. Shit, I see. Okay. So how, how come that's happened? It's, I think it's my jump to zero is in the wrong place. Okay, so copy from times. So if this is zero. Oh, I see. So bump, if times is zero, zero, copy from zero. Hang on a second, I'm copying from zero? If it's zero. No, that's right. Oh, but I see. So if we do a copy from zero, if it's zero there, doing a copy from zero and that's what's screwing it up. Okay, let me just take this crap out of a second. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Take that out. Okay. So we should be back to where we were, just testing the ones this time. Right? I'll tell you what, this is a lot harder than my previous jobs. Man. Okay. So now it should fail and he should say, that's not right! Here, I'll give you an, an input that screws you over! And this is gonna be the one. Okay, th and this is a situation where we have to do a four times one. But of course, because I'm bumping it down to zero, it doesn't quite register. So we have to actually do a check here. So, how are we checking? So, hang on a second. Did I leave that in? Yeah, I did. I left that jump of zero in on the times. No, that's right though. I need to have that. Howdy, partner. Y'all going to Pack South 2016? If you reckon you'll be there, let our community team know. Pack South. You step back and debug button next to the red stop. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. I've never really thought to use that. I should play Rocket League Mutators? Do you think at this point I should just play anything but this? I don't know. I'm enjoying this. I just don't know how much fun it is to watch me, like, suffer uh, and fail, like, over and over and over and over and over again. Okay, so I'm stuck with uh, having to check for this times value being 1. Uh, and it's kind of hard to test for. So I copy to times, uh, and if it's zero, I jump out. And then I bump it down, and then if it's zero, I jump out again. But actually, um, after the bump, if it's zero, 
I jump back down to here, and I go to the outbox, and then I jump back up to the start. And that's probably right, actually. What am I going to the outbox with, though? Uh, I'm going to the outbox in value zero. And that's probably why it's screwing up. Uh, because... The one... God, the music's really intense, isn't it? Play anything that isn't Fallout 4? Look, I'm doing it, like, right now. I'm playing this. I mean, this is like a mini game within Fallout 4. This is the way that you hack into terminals and stuff. It's pretty good. This is actually fun to watch somehow. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I mean, I don't even know if I'm actually really enjoying it anymore. No, I'm just joking. I quite like doing all this, but I understand it's probably frustrating to watch. Much like anything I do, right? Okay, so I have to test for one. As you can tell, I'm rapidly losing interest in testing for one. I'm like trying to think of ways and things that I can do that don't involve the testing for one. See, like when I used to work at my job, uh, when I was a, um, a guy who did this sort of stuff, programming, not in like a shitty language though. Like it, it, I did, I programmed in like pretty fun languages that were a lot easier than this. Um, if I was stuck on something, I go for lunch break. Or I just like go for a walk or something. So like this is really putting me to the test, right? Because I, I can't just go take a lunch break now. I'm in the middle of it. I can't just like walk outside and it's dark out. It's probably raining. It looks like it's been raining. I don't want to go outside right now. So now I have to like sit here and force myself to solve this. Which isn't very good at all actually. Alright, so we go to the inbox. Uh, we copy the value here, and then we go back to the inbox, and we copy the second value, which is what we want to times it by, right? Uh, and if that is zero, we jump out. Okay, so if it's zero, we jump out, and we send the zero to the outbox, and then we jump back, and we do it all over again. Okay, fine. But if it's not zero, we bump it down. Uh, and then we bump it down until it's... Oh, wait, we bump it down, and we check for a zero. So if we bump it down and it's zero, so somewhere in between here, we need to make sure that it's, if it's a one, that we're not bumping it down to zero and then just doing nothing with it, right? And how do we do that? Because we have to use the zero. Unless maybe we're doing it the wrong way around. Like instead of bumping out that number, just before it gets to zero. Well, it's the same thing, I guess. So we bump it down from one. That So the problem is bumping it down from one to zero. Bumping it down from anything else is fine. Uh, and checking for the zero is fine. But if it's zero... Fuck, if it's zero, what do we do? Just like bump it back up? No, we can't do that. So this one it'll fail at. Four and one. Okay, well, let's just step into it. Let's see. Okay, fine. Okay, so we do six times four. That's fine. Okay. Okay, so four times one is where we want to slow it down. Okay, fine. All right. So we have the value 24 put it down. Okay, so when it's four times one, we put the four here. And then we put the one here. Do we have anything else that comes back up? No, we don't actually. We bump it. Bump the times down. Okay. So we bumped it. And if it's zero, we jump down here. Straight away. And then we take that zero to the outbox? Wait, that's right. Oh no, it's not right. So actually we need to bump it up. Or in this case, we actually need to take the value. So if it's zero here... We go to the outbox with it. Oh, so, so this check is to see if the zero coming in. Oh no, but that that check for zero is here. So coming straight in, if it's zero, we bump down. So this, if this is zero here, the only time this is ever going to be zero is in this case. So that's right. So in that case, when we come down to here, right? We come to here which is where we are. No, hang on, is it this one? Yes, it's this one. So if we come to here, then we know that we want to copy the value from 
zero in this case and go the out box and then jump back up to the start right or is that going to screw it all up again or if i've if i already done this i'm not sure seven times three should work no problem three times five should work no problem and then we got four times one there as well okay three times five no problem eight times zero no problem zero times two no problem four times one four did i do it i did it that's all i did that's all i needed oh the multiplication workshop jesus christ okay so the size challenge hey look at that the size challenge completely we did not get but the speed challenge we were close. No, we did. We we got it. The, uh, uh, we got it. How did we get the speed challenge? I don't know. It it worked. I don't know. Twenty six commands. I know it's really fucking messy, wasn't it? Oh my god. Multiplication workshop. I was not expecting to get a green light for that. Zero terminated sum. Alright. Fuck you, game. I'm on to you. I'm gonna rip you a new one. Actually, before I rip you a new one, though, let me just say, just check something here. Um, Chaz Dongle. Thanks for resubscribing for two months in a row. Malinasa. Thanks for donating. £3.29. I was so sad, Sips. I subbed right before you ended stream Monday and you didn't say my name. I was so looking forward to that because your voice is so sexy. So I thought, I'll throw more money at him. More money, more money. Damn, char limitation, much heart. Malinasa, I'm sorry I missed your sub. I don't normally miss the subs. I'm usually right all over them. But maybe I was getting really salty on Monday when I was playing this. And for that I apologize. Do you want me to like sing you a song or something or make up a poem? Malinasa, Malinasa, you are the best. Malinasa, Malinasa, thanks for subscribing and donating as well. A lot. Good? Yeah. Brodo Swaggings, thanks for resubscribing six months in a row. Dr. Dark Heart, thanks for resubscribing for six months in a row. The Rat Dog, thanks for resubscribing for eight months in a row. And Xander Flame, thanks for resubscribing for two months in a row. Thanks. Fallout 4 is 700% overhyped. That's crazy. Yes. We believe in educating our employees on the job here. Do you know what a zero terminated string is? Yes, it is a very old technique and we don't expect you to know. So you may ask me about it if you like, or you may ask an external source. Whatever helps you get the job done. The inbox is filled with zero terminated strings. What's that? Ask me, your boss. Add together all the numbers in each string. When you reach the end of a string marked by a zero, put your sum in the outbox, reset, and repeat for each string okay that's fine so a, a string the string here is seven seven and then the zero is the termination of that string so we have to add seven and seven together and that's fine and then we have to add two minus nine and eight together and output and that's fine and they've kindly put a zero here so that we can compare zeros if we want to i don't think we need to do that but we'll, we'll just check okay so we go to the inbox and we copy uh, that value to here okay and we check to see if it's a zero because it might just be a zero straight away right I don't know if we actually have to check to see if it's a zero but if it is a zero um, we want to just output uh, the zero straight away that can't be right when you reach the end of a string marked by zero put your sum in the outbox okay so that's never gonna happen pretty much okay so inbox we copy to zero okay and then we go back to the inbox do we? See, we get the first value. And then once we got the first value, we go back and get the second value. And then we add the second value. Oh, I see. Okay. And then we add it to zero. Okay. And then we actually have to place like our thing here. And we have to check for zeros and stuff. Okay. So we go to the inbox and we copy it to zero. And we go to the inbox and we add that to zero there 
and then that should be the value should be there. So we put the value and then we copy the value to you. And this value will be our val. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, and then we check for a zero after the inbox. Because that's one with no. So it could just be straight away a zero. And that's going to be our jump out. And then this is going to be our jump through. Hang on. Yeah. Cover to zero. Okay, we don't need this stuff. We go to the inbox. Check straight away to see if it's a zero. If not, we add it to zero. And then we copy to val. And then we jump. And then if it is zero, we out. We copy from val. And we outbox. And we jump back up and do it all over again. Is that right? Seven. Okay, too bad you can't add it. Okay, fine. So we go to the inbox, check to see if it's zero, and then we copy it to zero. Hang on, we have to be able to copy it to not in the loop. So we copy it to zero, and then we add to zero. So we might actually need to use another one. So we copy the uh, input. Yeah, and then we add to val. So yeah, so we copy the in, uh, and then we add to val. Wait, and then we copy the val. Is that right? Okay, so we got four. Wait, what? Four, we can't add it to val without copying it to val. Copy the val. Oh shit, this is kind of hard actually. Okay. So we go to the inbox, check for zero. If it's not zero, we need to copy two, but we can't do it all in this one loop. We actually need to have our first value outside of this loop, this initial loop. Okay, that's fine. So we go to the inbox and we copy to in, right? And then we go back to the inbox and then we add to copy to in. Yeah. And then we go back to the inbox. And if it's a zero, it's fine. Go to the outbox. We're from val. Okay, so we actually need to copy from copy the val. Copy the in. Copy the val. Hang on a second. Alright. We got an eight. And then we add a two. And then we have a zero. Crap. And then we have five. <laughs> it's not working. Okay, so we copy to in. And then once we've done that, we go in here. Zero. Put it in. Wait, does he still hold the value? Yeah, he still holds the value. Okay, so you can check it for zero there. That's fine. Okay, so jump for zero. And then when he jumps to zero, it goes down there, and then if it's not zero, it jumps back up here, but actually it shouldn't jump back up here, it should, come, it should go back up to here. That's right. Okay, so six goes in, and then we have a three. Hang on a second. Okay, so we copy to in, and we also copy to val as well, initially, and then we add to val and copy to val, right? So we have a nine, and then we have an eight. Which is 17. Wait, I don't even need need to really do that, do I? Six. Let's get 23. Okay, and then nine. 14. And then 18. And now we have zero. Don't add it to the brush. Okay. Alright. So we have to go we have to check for zero too. So if it's zero here. We do this as well, right? I don't know if we need to use that in thing now. Okay, that's right. Yeah. Do I actually need those zeros? I guess I do. It would have told me, right? 
Uh, your solution works with those specific inputs, but it fails on other possible inputs. Yes, here, I'll give you some inputs. Okay, give me these inputs and let me see. I don't think I need to use this in thing. I think I can just copy it to Val, actually. 